The story continues. It's time for week four of what happened on my Mortal Kombat Universe mode. Let's give you a little recap from last week. Liu Kang made his debut on the show, beating Smoke with ease. Melina defeated her sister once again, not quite as easily as she did the week before. Sub Zero came out on top in a slobber knocker against Reptile. Johnny Cage finally got to beat Scorpion and then beat him up afterwards for his troubles. And in the main event, Shang Tsung and Shao Kahn made short work of Brendan Nomak. That's that on the actual show, which for some reason took place in Baltimore, Maryland, and opened with Johnny Cage taking on Scorpion once again. But this time, Scorpion was pissed. After giving Johnny Cage a few kicks to the body and the head, well, he had enough and decided to walk off and get himself counted out. Scorpion said no, ran up, gave him a hurricane runner on the aisle way, and then continued beating the hell out of him. Scorpion kept kicking Johnny Cage's ass, and the match only ended when he finished him off with a nice tiger suplex. Not that you could see it, because the ref's in the way. What a cock. In the next match, Kitana got another chance of revenge on her sister Melina in another singles match and it started pretty evenly just like the last one and both girls hitting big moves nice moves kicks to the face you know that kind of stuff Melina did finally get an advantage knocking her in the back of the head and then climbing over and headbutting her some more trying to exacerbate that head injury she hit a rolling thunder but then when she went for a reverse suplex boom reversal from Katana into a suplex then it was time for the kicks Several of them to the chest, and then finally to the head. She's clearly not into this one. She sent Melina to the outside before hitting Sami Zayn's call through the ropes. Tornado DDT back in the ring though when she tried to springboard in. Melina caught with a very European uppercut and pinned her. A win for Melina. Following that, we had another rematch from last week as Sub Zero took on Reptile once again after last week's barn burner. In a very Irish whip heavy match, both men took turns in beating the hell out of each other with some nice nifty moves. Both men hit Japanese arm drag slash belly to belly type things, although Reptile did hit that cool thing off the top rope just then. After a while, Reptile threw Sub-Zero to the outside and undid the turnbuckle pad, which he then proceeded to throw Sub-Zero into several times. More than two. Not like Melina last week with her two. Ooh, Sub-Zero is hurting after this one. With Sub-Zero in some pretty bad pain, Reptile hit a nice Kalisto spot before heading to the top rope and hitting a corkscrew sent on. That was enough to keep Sub-Zero down for the sneaky GT victory, and afterwards Reptile beat him down some more, because he's a wanker. With all the feud matches out of the way now, it was time for Sonya Blade to strut her stuff against Tanya in our second ladies match of the evening. And it began with a satellite from Sonya. As Jax looked on from the outside, Tanya tried to fight back with a crossbody, but it only got Sonya mad who hit a DDT and then whipped her with her hair. Again, Tanya tried to fight back, this time with a crucifix, but Sonya Blade just got up and kicked her in the face, hit a hurricane runner from the top rope and then locked her head between her legs and made her tap. Another victory for Sonya Blade. It was time for our Mortal Kombat main event. We had Nightwolf, who we saw on the first week, take on the returning Goro, who was also on the first week. They had contrasting fortunes on that first week, with Goro destroying Smoke and Nightwolf losing to Sub-Zero. Well, it was more of the same, with Goro absolutely destroying Nightwolf and not letting him hit a move. He ended the match with a double foot stomp from the top rope, uh, which ended it with ease. Poor Nightwolf, poor little jobber. That's all for week four. I'll leave you with what Tanya could have done to stop Sonya Blade beating her earlier.